And welcome back to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 06. Last time we uh, did Radical Train and got all the medals there and also fought a boss. That was really easy. This time we're going to start the next level, which is actually one of my meh levels of the game. It's like kind of odd because it's really glitchy, but it's not necessarily hard, but it's not necessarily easy. It's just. It's a thing. It's a thing, up. and that's the only way I can think to actually describe this level. It sounds really bizarre, but it's actually true. Um, Tropical Jungle is actually the easiest level during Shadow's story, um, but again, it will take a while to get that far, huh? Okay, so part of my problem with this level is it's kind of non-linear, actually. Um, because of like stuff like, oh, jump at maximum height, stuff like that. It's like kind of confusing because it's super non linear. It's not exactly the same. Wow, I just stuck to the wall. That's totally supposed to happen. Um, it's not quite. Um, I hit a boost pad without even realizing it. It's not quite the same as like uh, Dusty Desert because Dusty Desert, you're pretty much on a straight path that branches off. Periodically, this one is just kind of confusing, specifically the second half of the stage. Also, don't hit any boost pads here because you'll probably hit the enemies and lose all your rings. Don't do that. And I lost my rings when doing a homing attack because that totally makes sense. Um, and this is why I'm not doing a glitch counter. I should also point out because there are way too many glitches in this game. So you want to jump when the bud starts glowing, typically. Um, this is when things get really messed up. For, uh, for medals, because you actually have to take a lot of branching paths. Uh, I'm not quite sure how to even get that medal. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, I'm just going to take the route I usually do and we may end up picking up a medal. Also, I would recommend doing this. It sounds really obtuse. I picked up a medal. Uh, it sounds really obtuse, but it's actually the guaranteed way to hit the spring. Sometimes it'll just go off the line and not actually hit the spring. So that's just a safe way to do that. So we picked up one medal. Um, so I'll have to go back and see which one that actually would be chronologically, and then label it. Wow, my voice is really froggy today. This part sucks, by the way, because you're on a straight line your path that moves very freaking slowly. Why they thought this was a good idea? He's actually supposed to hit a boost pad, and this goes a lot faster, but I missed the boost pad, and then you fall. Actually, you can jump if you want, to just be trolly, um, uh, and then I suck the wall again, because I'm Spider-Man, I'm totally Spider-Man, Spider-Sonic, Spider-Hedgehog, also I tend to fall off this ramp, I don't know why, um, but I didn't actually that time, yeah, this level's like, pretty buggy, one of the buggiest levels, I'd say, Specifically with Shadow, because they totally missed a humongous oversight that makes the level hilarious. Uh, which I'm going to look forward to showing that in great detail. It's actually the easiest S rank in the game, because you could literally skip like the entire level. But that's the story for another time. Also, the Aura Sphere, which is a Pokemon thing I know, lacks the game a lot, so only use it when necessary. <laughs> Um, you can't get too many particles on screen or else the game will have a cow, basically. Um, that's kind, kind of the recurring theme of this game. Also, if you think this is bad, the frame rate of the Xbox 360 version is actually a lot better than the uh, PS3 version. PS3 version actually has a really buggy frame rate. And that totally worked as intended. And I fell off the platform because the jump button didn't work. Wow, this is a short level when done. Uh, I don't know how I ended up here, but I'm not complaining because this is actually the end of the level. Um, this level is just falling apart for me right now. Um, like I have never, I mean, I know this level's broken, but I have never seen it break this badly. Like, look, straight up, I have never seen this happen before. Uh, where you just homing attack things that aren't even there, you just fly all around like a pinball, all that. I have never seen that happen before, but hey, there's a first time for everything, as the saying goes. Because this section is pretty non-linear, the metals tend to be a little bit obtuse, but it's not too bad. 
Um, let's try going. I hum attack the turtle because why the heck not? So the vine, like you're supposed to. Oh, uh, camera. To the left. To the left. To the left. Um. Okay. Maybe I should like swing back and forth a little bit first. Build up momentum. And there, we actually made it that time. So again, S rank tips. Don't die. Which we actually have violated one of those tips already. And that was the only tip we actually gave, but still. We cannot S rank this because we have no score. And we picked up another medal, I'm pretty sure. Oh well, there's two that I don't have to collect off screen. So hey, less work for me. See, that's a pretty easy level for time bonus. It's just rings. That's the problem. So, we have a lot of rings and nothing to spend them on. So that's a little bit weird. Uh, there's a huge drought between when you can actually sp like buy more stuff in the shop, which is a problem I have, that they don't distribute power-ups very evenly. Hmm, looks like we've lost them. I'll settle things here. Elise, you should go back to the castle. Okay. Sorry? so many flowers before. Sonic, have you visited many wonderful places before? Yeah. Once you defeat Eggman, you'll leave, won't you? Though I've been frightened many times, I also enjoyed this adventure. It allowed me to be something other than a princess. I was able to be myself. A girl. It sounds like being a princess isn't that easy. It isn't sometimes, but I love this country. Everyone in the castle, the children, all my citizens really. The same love my late father and mother had. Don't cry, Elise. Become a strong queen who doesn't cry, no matter what happens. And so, I do my best to protect my country. I understand everything my parents said to me now. Sonic, if you leave here to go on another adventure, remember this place. Definitely. <gasps> Elise? I'm fine. Sorry. I mustn't cry. I can't. Elise? Smile. Also, I should point out that all the dubbing in the game, I think, was directed by a Japanese voice director. So that's why some of the intonation feels really off. harm to come to my people. Miss Elise! It is my duty as Princess of Soliana to go. 
There is no other choice. Also, there's a huge plot hole of how did they get back to this town? They don't explain that at all. Just wanted to point that out. Um, and now we have to go to Wave Ocean. You may be thinking, wait, we already played Wave Ocean. What the heck game? Well, we have a twist this time. We are Tails! Ha! I can ring bomb everyone. <laughs> um, what do you have to say? Okay. Wait, let's see Eggman by herself. Tails, please help her. Well, this mission's kind of a chore, to be honest, because it's just literally Wave Ocean 1, except we're, tell we're Tails now. So it's kind of stupid, um, but we also are going to save it for next time, so cut to the metals of Tropical Jungle. This metal is playing side here, beginning of the area near a bunch of enemies. Second metal is actually at this first uh, vine, except you don't want to hit the platform, you actually want to fall. And brick boxes, do you get a metal? Third metal is the one near the rail. And you basically have to go through the lower rail and then just take a leap of faith and hope you actually get the metal. You can tell I'm really struggling right there. <laughs> Number five is actually in the second area. Right at the beginning, it's to the left, it's in the water, piece cake. Right after that, there will be a, a junction where you can either go fight enemies or take a freeze pad, fight the enemies, go up, uh, lag the game massively apparently, and just kind of take out everybody. And then you have a pretty clear shot to melt unless you accidentally home attack the vine, in which case you basically have to maneuver around to actually get the metal. Immediately after that is actually the next level. Uh, there's that bounce pad right there at the end of the um, one of the last pillars. You can land here near the gate. You can actually homing attack the gate as this is right here, so that's not the way to get the metal. If you do homing attack the gate, which well, I guess you get to see the demonstration of that, you can just use the vine to actually get back up to where the metal is. So that was interesting. Number 8 is actually in the same spot, except instead of going to the one platform, you can use the spring to get to this rail where the metal waits you. And lastly, towards the end of the level, number 9 is sitting below a platform. Uh, so towards the end, all you have to do is jump down and aura and grab the metal and make sure you don't fall through the water. Piece of cake. In any case, that's all the metals, so. Another stage down. So next time we will continue with Tales of Wave Ocean. So thank you for watching. I hope you'll join me next time for more Sonic 06.